avoid this giving chase. Despite the new engine, you only still need to stand. Well, if I could just have something to do, sir. What are you doing on the floor? What's that? Message from HQ, sir. I'd be more surprised if there wasn't a message from HQ. Excuse me, Mr. It's from Lieutenant. the General himself, sir. Oh, wonderful. Well, it appears that the reconnaissance machines in our sector remain virtually, virtually unmolested, unmolested for the past ten days. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. But the General sends his congratulations to you and the members of your flight on your successful pursuance of his forward action policy. Breakfast, I think. Oh, the bacon smells good. Corporal Wallace is overslept. Waking with your main machine, refueled, ready to take off in an hour. Not so long ago, he stormed into Corporal Wallace's tent and tipped him out of bed himself. Well, seven hours in the air yesterday, eight and a half the day before. With only two pilots himself and Mr. Starling, what else can he do? And me, sitting round here, twiddling my thumbs. This message from the General. Made me feel quite proud, didn't it? Saint-Marie. Seems it is a special flight. Its pilots are certainly special. I agree with that. Something has to be done. Better now, fine. Help me. Come on, eh? Dorm me. No, look, I slept enough. Alan. I'm a norm. Uh, Francoise. Francoise.
one in my sight for at least ten seconds. I didn't even manage to hit him. Shut up. Get on the telephone. Are you right, Mills? Yes, sir. Field dressing station, you dumb ox. Move! First call for Armstrong. He'll come as soon as he can. He'll sir. come now. Well, he's already seen the one badly wounded man, so the cook, and there are others being brought. Oh, it's you, sir. Yes. Good morning, sir. Give me a hand. Well, he shouldn't be moved. Don't sir. argue, Mills. Well, do something, damn you. Fetch my Bradley flask. Yes, sir. You all right, sir? <laughs> yes, I'm all right. What a way to get my cup, eh, sir? Yes. No, sir. Captain Triggers did not declare his intention. At least not to me, sir. Well, no, he won't come to the telephone at the moment, sir. It's on the first day tent with Mr. Browning. No, 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 no. We're waiting for another ambulance. They're doing what they can for the wounded men. All Captain Trigger said was that he wanted the bomb sent down from depot today. No, sir. He didn't say anything about a dawn attack tomorrow. Any news of another ambulance? No, sir. Last. Uh, four dead and six wounded, sir. Five dead. Five dead now, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, but about the bombs, sir. They will be sent down from depot today, will they? Well, thank you, sir. Goodbye. So I think we'll have to wait for the ambulance What's to make the return for it. The dressing stations are full stretch. What's all this about bombs? Oh, I've no idea. Oh, come on, Mills. Don't give me that. Well, all I know is that Captain Trigger... Ask you to what, Sergeant? Well, what's all this about bombs being sent down from the depot? Two can play this underhand game. Underhand? But what's underhand about it? They caught us napping, serve us damn well right. Oh, God, congratulations from the general. We all go around as if we've won the whole blasted war. Instead of asking ourselves what messages are they receiving from their HQ, well, now we bloody well know. They sent the other ambulance yet, Mills? I telephoned, sir. They say another ambulance can't be spared. There are two more men dying out there, Mills. I did mention Oh, you mentioned it, did you, Mills? Oh, where are you going? To wash. Come back here and do something useful. Help clear up. The ambulance should be making... Look, are you out of your mind? Speak when you're supposed to. If you're considering a reprise at a time... Where the hell's my brandy flask, Mills? You asked me to get it where you were singing to Edwin yes, Walter, sir. Stand there. Go and get it. Yes. You're considering a reprise at no, a time... I'm not and I think... considering. No, I made up my mind the moment those Eindeckers were over our front lines on the way home. Breakfast, I think. Oh, you're not beyond gorging yourself, then. I'll cop down there without his face blown away! Lieutenant! You'd better pull yourself together. Do you want the brandy, sir? No! Later! Get on to the depot. Tell them to forget those bombs. Beg your pardon, sir. You heard me, Sergeant. Captain Triggers say that, sir. Do I sound like Captain Triggers? What, what I mean is, sir, I can't cancel... Then they bandage your brain as well, Sergeant! I'm sorry, Look, sir. there are three machines out there. Two completely wrecked. The other one will need men working on it day and night for a week just to get it in the air. And we've one engine fitter and two riggers left alive and fit for work. So what's he proposing for the dawn attack tomorrow? The week... Time is a flock of sparrows! Now get on this phone! Sergeant! Mills, I... congratulations. You've just been promoted. New cook. Breakfast for two, please. Yes, sir. Mr. Starling back from the dawn patrol yesterday. I want an only machine. You're not thinking of attacking Tom Fleur with one machine, are you? You better tell Mills how you like your test. Oh, God. Surely you can Take see that... that... Brandy. Surely you can see that that is just what they're going to expect us to do. Ah. Look, they've crippled us. If we, if we attack them tomorrow, they'll wipe us out. Yes, that's something in what you say, so we get them in the air. What else have we been trying to do for the past week? Now they've given us a little bit of incentive, haven't they? Yes. Hello, Sam. Sam Marie. 
Oh. Michael Starling. Engine failure. Had to make a forced landing. Um, him. Where is he? West of Arras. West of Arras. What? Tell him to give us his exact position. What the hell are you doing? I'm looking for the map case, sir. Hello, Michael. Yes. Could you just shut up a minute? Thank you. Could you please give us your exact position? Oh, all right. We'll send a tender for no, you. No, we will not send the tender no, for him. The way things are, the tender's tender needed for, for collecting spurs. The tender is needed for collecting Tell him I'll send him an RS. Are you listening? Yes, sir. Tell him I'll send him an RSC airman from the nearest we'll airfield. We need that machine. Well, please, Maris. just give us your exact position. We do rather need your machine. I see. Well, there's not much point, sir. What do you mean, not much point? Well, most of his machine is west of Arras. Most of it? Yes, he left a wing in a tree about half a mile away. So what do I tell Mr. Stone? Tell him he can walk! Hello, Michael. Yes, I'm afraid you'll just have to find your own way back. Yes, I'm sorry. Goodbye. Well, we've one engine fitter and two riggers. So we just have to resign ourselves to the fact that we can't put a machine in the air for the next 24 hours. <laughs> have you seen that hangar out there, sir? The machine's completely wrecked. Get the mechanics and the rigger working on the other one right It'll away. It'll take them three or four days at least. Yes, so it would. That's why you and I, Mr. Bravington, are going to roll up our steams. Oh, Mills, good breakfast. Thank you very much. Come on, Bravington, we're going to need it. Come on! Oh, uh, you can see me later, Sergeant. Mrs. Farmer? Mrs. Farmer? Mr. Gagan, I thought I heard a car. Hello, what's this? Working on a Sunday? Just a few small jobs that need doing, yes. Ah, well, uh, I was driving home today. Yes, you said you might be going. And I wonder perhaps whether you might care to join me. Well, that's a nice thought, but... Well, it's a pleasant enough journey, and I thought perhaps, well, a day away from Beckett's Hill might well make a welcome change for you. Uh, if it's my parents, I assure you they're not at all awesome, really. No, I'm sure they're not. It's, um... Well, it's just like I said, there's one or two things needing to be done. Yes, well, uh, there it is. Perhaps you might like to ask Miss Collins to go along with you. Well, uh... Norna said you took her to the tea shop in Caxton on Thursday. Yes, I did. Well, uh, goodbye. Bye. Actually, I had already invited uh, uh, Miss Collins um, to come with me. Yes, I thought you might have done. To death meeting your family. Maybe it sounds as though I come from a long line of executioners. But I'd be easier if Mrs. Farmer was here. Well, I certainly wouldn't. Lord, I don't know whether she thinks that you and I are. Anyway, come on, let's go, shall we? Will your sister be there? Kate, don't worry, she'll adore you. Wrong clothes. Uh, no, 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 Vestimon Militaire. Uh, Vestimon Civilian. Vestimon? Oui, Vestimon. Oh, Votre oui. Père. <laughs> oui. 
No, and there's a revolver. He's got a revolver, my revolver. I want it back, yes? Revolver, bang, bang. Oui. Oui? Oui. And there's something else to do. Car. Uh, car du lait, oui? Oui. Does it deliver milk to the German airport? Um, Alamonia. Uh, Alamonia. Uh, fluga, fluga. Oui. 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 Does it deliver? Good afternoon. Who are you? Lorna Collins. Lorna Collins? Oh, Sergeant Alan Farmer. I'm his fiancée. Oh, of course. I remember now. Alan, yes. His fiancée, so everything turned out all right after all. I'm so glad. Oh, no, of course, he's reported missing. Charles did tell me. I should have remembered. There I go, putting my foot in it. I haven't even introduced myself yet. Oh, well. I'm Charles' sister, Kate. Yes. Oh, and I haven't asked why you're here. Oh, I came with Charles. Oh. And uh, where is he? Oh, he's gone to find the tea. Well, that's a relief. I thought for a moment you'd come to talk to me about... Oh, please. I suppose Alan must have mentioned me. Yes. Uh, he said that you'd met in Paris. Mm. I can't think why. I'm sorry? I can't think why he went to Paris to see me instead of going to, uh, where is it? Oh, B Beckett's Hill. Beckett's Hill, yes, to see you. Please don't misunderstand. Seeing you now, I meant it as a compliment. Though, of course, at the time, he was convinced it was better not to see you again in case... In case he was killed. Mm. Men are such strange creatures, aren't they? So illogical, really. I suppose that's why they try to fasten that label onto us. Paris. Yes, well, that was just a few pleasant hours mostly spent in introducing Alan to the splendid art of French cooking. Oh. Well, surely he told you. No, he didn't. Oh, but you do believe me. I mean, there was... Yes. Yes, of course you do. Because you know Alan. Good, honest and true. There aren't many like Alan, you know. No, I, I realise that. I liked Alan. Very much indeed. But Paris was just a refreshing interlude, that's all. In any case, I am the epitome of fickle woman. But no doubt Charles has told you that already. No, he hasn't. No. He doesn't tell me very much either. He did tell me his reserve squadron wasn't far from Beckett's Hill, but that was all. He, he, he called on Alan's mother. To commiserate. Well, she was very glad to see him. She invited us both to tea one Saturday. Well, then he took me for a ride in his aeroplane and to tea in, in Caxton. That's the nearest town. I see. Are you fond of him? Well, to... Yes. But I shouldn't want him to know. Oh, I should think he knows. I did before you said it. You know, you're the first... Charles has never brought a girl home before. Oh. It's not like you think, isn't it? I mean, Charles. Oh, I see. Just cheering you up. Is that it? Well, he's been very kind to both of us. I mean, to me and Alan's mother. Oh, jolly and light-hearted. Oh, yes. Mm. Why don't I mind my own business? I know. But I think you should know that whenever Charles shrugs something off, but appears to be treating it lightly, that means he's taking it... Or the person, very seriously. And as you're the first girl he's brought here, what about Alan? Alan's not coming back from France. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I knew he was reported missing. I hadn't realised you'd heard definitely. We haven't. I just know. Oh. I'll find the Brazil band anywhere. Charles! Good Lord, when has you come in? Just. Oh. Uh, may I introduce... Oh, um... we've already introduced ourselves. Oh. And had a nice little chat. Have you? Well, we simply must have some tea before we sit back. Now, where the devil is Levin? I've searched high and low for him. What, what, what's he up to? Is, is he have Sunday afternoons off now? What? Oh, he takes every afternoon off. Mornings and evenings as well. 
That's Jimmy. Like all good and patriotic butlers, Levin has left us in the lurch. Good Lord, I simply don't believe it. They haven't found a uniform to fit him. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. He's helping to make poison gas respirators. Levin? And very proud of his industrial army badge, he is too. Says he's going to stick it till the armistice. Well, we can't wait that long for some tea. No, I'll make some. Oh, please, don't go to any trouble just for... Oh, not at all. I love making tea, don't I, Charles? Mm. It's about the only place I think she can make. Miss Collins, on the other hand, bakes bread twice a week for her entire family. Well, some lucky husband, hmm? You know, I felt sure mother and father would be here. No, afraid not. And they won't be back till late this evening. Pity. I would have liked to introduce them to Miss Collins. Yes, well, I'll make that tea, shall I? Mm. Oh, can I help? Mm. Absolutely not. Sometime, though, you can show me how to bake bread. That is, if you ever... if Charles brings you again. Oh, please, do sit down. Uh, a bit pretty about Mother, really. Yes, I should have liked to have met her. Well, you were scared stiff at the prospect. Oh, not that I've seen her likeness. Ah. Well, I must say that Mama looks a lot more fearsome there than she does in real life. Oh, uh, terribly sorry. <clears throat> what about Kate? Oh, I think she's very nice. Do you know, I've heard a lot of descriptions of Kate, but no one has ever called her very nice before. Well, I think she is. Yes, you would. Uh, tell me, you know, just as a uh, matter of interest, uh, what was Kate, you know, what, what was she saying to you about me just before I came in? Well, she said... No, go on. She said that when you seem to be treating things very lightly, that in fact you're treating them very seriously. Nervous. Oh, uh, du pain, du fromage. Oh, merci. Well, oh, cheer up. You might see me once again. Up there. Mm. <laughs> I don't know how I got here. I do know you looked after me. And you saved me life. So you. Thank you. I wouldn't expect you to understand. Oh, but I do understand. A breath of country air. Very invigorating. But to go and live in the country. I don't say anything about going to live in the country. Oh, you know what I mean. I do know exactly what you mean. And what's more, you're perfectly wrong. You've never met anyone like her. No, I haven't. So she's something of a novelty. That's rather how I felt about Alan. I'm talking about something else. Believe it or not, Charles, I'm thinking of her. She's a very nice girl. Believe it or not, that's exactly what she said about you. Well, why shouldn't she? Well, I am nice, aren't I? Mm. I think I'm nicer than you give me credit for. Alan thought I was. Good mind. It's not her you don't want to talk about, it's Alan. She seems convinced Alan's not coming back from France. Did you know that? Yes. Well, what about you? What do you think? Not a lot of hope, I suppose. Not now. Not after several weeks. But still a chance that he's alive. Well, of course there's still a chance he's still alive, yes. Well, what will you do if he does come? Well, I really don't know, Kate. Oh, you haven't thought about it? Oh, come on, Charles. Of course you have. Yes, I've thought about it. And naturally, I shall bow out. Naturally. Oh, damn you in your own eyes. You've got absolutely no idea how I feel. Well, of course I haven't, because you haven't told me yet. And I am most interested. Hmm. How do you feel, Charles? 
Well, um, so, so, well, I'm very fond of Miss Collins, sir. Well, all right, I, 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 I'm in love with her. You know, I never thought I'd hear that from you, Charles. Neither did I. I, I do believe you mean it. Well, of course I mean it. Well, have you told her yet? No, of course you haven't. When will you? Um, well, when, um... When you're convinced Alan's not coming back from France. Hmm. What was that for? Oh, I don't know. I suddenly felt... Well, you've had such an awful time of it. Rot. Had a jolly easy time compared to a lot of other poor devils. Oh, I don't just mean the war. I don't know what I meant. Anyway, I hope this comes right for you. I honestly do. <laughs> ah, Miss Collins, uh, all ready for the road? Yes. Splendid. Will you be warm enough in that motor car? Well, it was perfectly warm when she came down. Well, the wind's changed since then. Oh, has it? You should know, a flyer. Lord, what is one to do with a sister like this? Well, it's a whole lot chillier by now. By the time you reach Beckett's Hill, the poor girl will be blue. Hang on, I'll fetch you a blanket. Oh, please, don't go to any trouble. Not at all. You can return it next time you come. And you must come again, or I shall be very cross with Charles for not bringing you. Well, thank you very much for the tea. See, I told you she was very nice. What's wrong? Absolutely nothing at all, really. Uh, um, in fact, the complete opposite. Uh, I feel, um, well, I suppose like a like pilot, I feel, you know, just uh, on top of the world. of innocence. If you... It's time to get up, sir. We're on fire. Fire! Good morning, sir. Well, we've worked on all through the night, sir. Oh. Yes, well, I know that, don't I? I didn't go to bed till half past four. How's the... How's the engine? Um, Corporal Reed is still having a bit of trouble with the magneto, sir. So. Oh? Oh, it's done. <sighs> it's done, so enough. Mm. I'll be up a wink. Half an hour should be good, isn't it? Must work like demons. Yeah. I'm made into a couple of riggers, yes, sir. Well done. Thank you, sir. You've forgotten the sugar. I'm an observer, not a rigger's mate or a batman, sir. Oh, um, shall need a hair test. <coughs> Pretty thorough one, too. Don't worry. Get most thorough air test aeroplanes ever been given. I'm like a pilot shall bear witness to it.
Ähm Didn't meet his mother then? No, she wasn't there. Thank you. Um, bye then. See you tomorrow. You can't wait to be gone, can you? Well, you don't seem to want to talk much these days, so you can't even look me straight in the eye. You're still wearing my son's engagement ring, remember? Why shouldn't I be? I'm not blind, you know, and I know I this just... sort. Do you mean Charles? Oh, it's Charles now, is it? Not Mr. Galian How anymore, can... except when I'm present. How can you say such things when he's just come here to give us what comfort he and could? And to take advantage. Uh, I'd never have believed that you could say such things. Well, I've had some pretty soft ideas about you two. We should be talking like this. Not you and I. Not when we've been so close since... You I... know he's not coming uh, back I'm from sorry, France. sorry, I shouldn't have... And that gives you any excuse to carry on with that... No, you could say what you like about me, but I will not have you talk that way about Charles. Oh, so that's the way it is, is it? Well, there's... And what about him? There's nothing said by either of us. So Alan's a fly in the oh, ointment that... now, is he? That and is you not... can't wait to hear that he's officially that dead. That is not a nice thing to say...
Who sees me? Yes, but we would have had an iron decker in our hands and the secret of their forward firing machine gun if that hadn't been for a flight commander. Vengeance is mine, is it? Yes. Come in. Father! Oh, how nice to see you! How are... Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Sorry, sir. Sorry. I'm quite up to the market. Spot of flying duty will soon put that right, sir. Flying duty? Why, you look at him. Well, no, it's uh, jolly good to have a damn fine pilot back in the flight, I can tell you. Alan, it's good to see you. Bob, you owe me four francs. I thought you were going to get away with it, did you? Well, I have to admit, I thought you'd gone west. <laughs> Cheery chap, isn't he? Well, I thought I had gone west up there this morning. Yeah, tell me, what happened? Sergeant Farmer, have you had your breakfast? Yes, thank you, sir. Good. I'm ready for duty now, sir. Well, we can do with you, I can tell you. Sergeant Mills informs us that you intended... that you intend getting married on your next leave. Yes, that is correct, sir. Well, you better start making arrangements. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Galeon, sir, is he flying this Mr. morning? Mr. Galeon left for England three weeks ago. He's a flying instructor at Marshfield. Marshfield, Reserve Squadron. Marshfield in Sussex? Yes. Oh, thank you, sir. Right, sir, uh, about this, sir. Uh... Richard, you've had a rough couple of days. Yes, sir. Come to that, sir. Bye. Why don't we drive into Amiens this evening? Have a drink. Uh, yeah, well, yes, well, sir. I hate to be a wet blanket, sir, but there's a message from HQ. Make your pun? A message from HQ, sir. Sorry, speak up. What? Well, there's a meeting this evening, sir. Sorry. It's turned deaf. I beg your pardon? Must be the effect of the dawn attack. I'll see you later. I'll go in what remains of my car. Yes, sir. Um, the news about Sergeant Farmer. Better contact Marshfield. And uh, I have a feeling Sergeant Farmer wants Mr. Galen to be his best man. Yes, too late. Well, Angel of Vengeance one minute, Father Christmas the next. I'll deal with those, Millie. Have a good evening, sir. Yes, I think I might. Yes. You've had a telegram. A telegram? Well, you will be getting one. It's Alan. He's alive, he's well. He's at St. Marie and he's... Coming home on leave. I know just how you feel. Lorna, you know, she thought that he was never coming back again, and I, be I began to believe the same thing. And all those awful things that I've thought, and I've just said to that poor girl. Oh. I understand, and I'm sure she does to you. Know? Oh, you're a good boy. I should never have thought of it. I told you I understand. But she, she just told me what she feels. Has she? Well, that's perfectly understandable under the circumstances. When she realizes that Alan's alive and coming home, it'll be all right. Oh, I wish that I could be sure of that. You can. Just leave it to me. Hey. Oh, oh, this is... Oh. Hello? I didn't expect to see you here today. No, well, I uh, didn't expect to be here. What is it? Well, I've just been to see Mrs. Farmer. It's Alan. He's... It's good news. He's alive. Yes. It is good news. Very glad for Mrs. Farmer. Sorry. Just the shock of it. Yes. Well, as I'm here, I'll give you a lift home. Oh, 
It's no need. I'd like to. I want to talk to you. Hi. Well, you must know that I've uh, become fond of you. I wasn't sure. Just no heart. Will they give Alan leave? Yes. He's expecting us to be married. So you will be. I can't. Not now. 